thank you for the opportunity to speak to the Executive Policy Committee this morning. I was scheduled to appear in delegation at EPC in March when Council was considering the multi-year budget, but was unable to speak due to Council refusing to accommodate the many Winnipeggers who felt unsafe gathering in large indoor activities for hours of speaking. I appreciate the efforts of the City Clerks to make these Zoom delegations possible. Um, I hope that it will continue to make these uh, meetings accessible in the future, even beyond the pandemic. And I still think it is shameful that Mayor Bowman minimized our concerns that day. I trust in the time since we've all learned just how real the dangers of COVID-19 are. What I fear Council hasn't learned is how your recklessness in budgeting similarly threatens our communities. Since the earliest phases of the consideration of the multi-year budget, whose priorities the budget before you today continues, Winnipeggers have expressed themselves in unprecedented numbers that the priorities you've set endanger our lives. In September 2019, over 15,000 people marched for climate justice, and yet this budget continues a fiscally and environmentally unsustainable focus on roads and inherent subsidy of personal vehicle use, while cutting transit service levels and gutting our active transportation funding. This past summer, I was one of the many thousands coming out for the vigils for Aisha Hudson and the passionate call for an end to police impunity. I was there when more than 15,000 Winnipeggers marched in support of justice for black lives and among the over 115,000 who signed the petition demanding the defunding of policing in favor of funding of life-sustaining services. I've participated in numerous public engagement surveys and meetings regarding transportation and land use, which have overwhelmingly reflected Winnipeggers hope that you will support usable alternatives to private vehicles. And yet your ears are shut to our pleas. Your eyes are closed to our suffering. This budget remains a budget of death. Its mill rate increases are plowed into more roads while this council drags its feet on dressing a deadly climate crisis that surely comes for us all. Police funding is increased while Winnipeggers die at the hands of a police service that violates our rights while failing to provide safety for our communities. Here are some things I am not aware of. I am not aware of how someone catches an on-demand bus without a phone. I'm not aware of how record road investment supports sustainable economic growth when the increased long run costs of infrastructure are bankrupting us. I'm not aware of how councillors can continue can consider themselves transit advocates while cutting service levels or active transportation supporters when gutting funding for those programs. I'm not aware of how breaking the promise of even a paltry 10% cut in police service funding builds trust with marginalized Winnipeggers, especially those who are black, indigenous and people of color. And I remain deeply unaware of why Winnipeggers should continue to consult and answer surveys and delegate and bleed for you, pleading for a Winnipeg we can all live in when it is plain that you do not care what you say, what we say. Thank you. Well, for someone who doesn't understand why they should provide input, uh, it's good that you provided input today and we do appreciate it. Uh, have a uh, great day. It's Hanukkah. And so I have a faith that uh, something will last um, and so while I light that candle tonight, I'll be hoping that this little bit can go a long way, but this budget goes, um, is far short of what we need. Thank you. you you've made your views very clear and we, we do appreciate the input. Wish you all the best the Hanukkah uh, season and uh, also the, the holiday season. Uh, take care. Thanks.